Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more topic that is uh, understanding about the packets in networking. So coming to the networking, so the data will be transferred between uh, two different uh, devices. So that means the data will be transferred in terms of packets. So in this session, we'll see what exactly these packets and what will be available in the packets, right? So. packets so very important concept in networking right and this will be also be used in ethical hacking also right so if you consider two systems which are connected in a network so this is system and this is one another system so it will be system a and system b so there are two different systems and we are supposed to exchange the data between A and B. So, let it be, this is the bandwidth. Bandwidth. So, the data will be transferred from A to B through the bandwidth. And for example, if A wants to send the data which is more than the available bandwidth, then what happens? So, here, the data will be divided into a small parts called a pack packets right so for example some so for example some 100 bytes of data is to be transferred from a to b and the bandwidth is only 50 bytes okay then bandwidth is only 50 bytes so it's somewhat difficult to send the 100 bytes at a time so what happens here? So this will be divided into different smaller parts. So let it be, I am giving a small example. So let it be four parts. Okay, 25 bytes, 25 bytes, 25 bytes and 25 bytes. So these small parts, these small units of data is known as packet. Packet. So that the transfer will be fast and it will be reliable right instead of sending the complete information at a time so it will be very easy and efficient if you divide the complete data into smaller units so that means in terms of packets right so packet means a small unit of data small unit of data now let it be so this is one packet this is one this is one and this is one so total four packets are available now so each packet size is 25 so what exactly will be in the packet? So this packet represents the two things. One is header and the second one payload. So payload is actual data. Okay, whatever the bytes we are using, that will be the payload. Okay, the actual data which we want to transfer from A to B is called a payload. Coming to the header, so the packet should be transferred from A to B, right? So that means this packet should have the destination address. So unless you have the destination address, the packet can't be transmitted, right? So if you want to send an email, so what we need, the recipient email ID should be there. So without the, rec without the recipient email ID, you can't send a message. So if you want to send a post, so there should be some postal address, the recipient postal address. Similarly, there should be the destination address so, so that the packet will be transmitted from source to destination. So the both the things will be included in this header, right? So one thing is source address from where the packet has been transmitted and the destination address. Destination address. So here the address means identification of that particular device. So we simply we can call it as an IP address, source IP and the destination IP. So in between, there will be different routers which will route the packet to the destination, towards the destination, right? So that uh, in order to route the packet 
we will apply some routing algorithms so already we have discussed the about uh, some of the routing algorithms in our computer networks uh, playlist so i'll post that one in the description section you can go through that one so the packet will be having the header and payload in the header will be having the source address destination address and one more important thing is the length of the data so whether the data has been modified in the transmission or not so we have to check so that will be added here length the length of data will also be included in the header right so i'll write this payload once again the three things and the fourth one the time stamp the time when the payload has been created when the packet has been created created right so time time stamp so the packet will be valid only up to that particular time right so up to that particular time the packet will be valid so if the time exceeds automatically the packet is will be destroyed it will not be used okay so within that particular time the destination should receive this particular packet so if it receives the packet where the time has been exceeded automatically that implies that packet has been destroyed right so time stamp is important so within that particular time period the packet should be received and next very important thing is sequence number identity or we can call it as a sequence number so what is the use of this sequence number so here we have divided the complete data into a four packets right so these four packets will be sent here these four packets will be sent to here right so imagine these four packets as a four different vehicles okay four different cars or four different bikes so this is a bandwidth it's nothing but a road okay it's, it's nothing but a road so at a time two packets can be travel here or three packets can be traveled based upon the bandwidth so here we have given some 50 so at a time two packets can be traveled at a time right so we don't know which packet receives i mean which packet will receive reach the destination first okay for example this is two this is one this is four and this is the three maybe the third packet has been received first next fourth packet has been received second and first packet has been received third and second packet has been received uh, last okay so we don't know the order so what happens the destination yes the destination have received all the four packets but the destination should reassemble the data okay reassemble the packets so which comes first which comes next and which comes the third and which comes the fourth like that so in order to reassemble the data at the destination for every packet there will be a sequence number so according to that sequence number the uh, the destination will rearrange the packets okay so even though the packets received in this order so for example third fourth one and two so this will be reassembled as one two three and four so for the reassembling of data the sequence number will be used so that is most important and also so sometimes due to some con congestion network congestion or some some failures the packets may be lost okay the packets may be lost so if the packet is lost for example if the packet one is lost okay the one has not reached the destination the one has not reached the destination so we are having only three packets at the destination so what happens here so there should be one acknowledgement from b to a such that we have received so and so packets so based upon that acknowledgement if if a doesn't receive any acknowledgement from b that implies that the corresponding packet has not been reached to the destination so in such cases the b expects the retransmission of the packet and that retransmission of the packet will be taken care by the protocols so the protocol will make sure that all the packets has been received uh, by the destination if any one of the packet has been lost automatically the retransmission will be initiated 
so the packets will be retransmitted to the destination right so this is how a packets can be transmitted from source to destination so apart from this there are uh, seven more fields okay there are seven more fields okay also there will be checksum header checksum this is called a header checksum if any one of the data has been lost automatically based upon this checksum the correction will be done okay checksum okay length uh, and a lot of uh, information will be there so these are the major things i have covered only the major things major things uh, that that are included in the packet header packet header okay and the second part is payload payload means actual data and the, there is also a third part which is a trailer okay header and a trailer trailer consists of a checksum so which corrects the data if any modification is there okay so that will not be available for the tcp ip protocol so the majorly packet is be having only two uh, parts that is a header packet header and the payload right so this is how the packets will be transferred from a to b so every packet will be having the sequence numbers so in order to reassemble or reassign at the destination right if any one of the packet has been lost during the transmission the protocol will initiate the retransmission of that particular packet and if any packet is received by the destination beyond the time stamp okay so automatically then also it will accept expect the retransmission of the same packet okay so the packet loss will be due to some network damage or any network congestions okay network traffic etc etc there will be may, many reasons why the packets has been lost right so this is the overview of the packet so this is most important so if you are if your system is connected to a network so here the data transmission will be done with the help of a packet itself so what is the data transmission for example let us be this is a client just for an example i am saying this is a server let it be this is a google server google server so if a client gives some www dot google.com automatically some sort of data so data means this url or anything else right so whatever the request we are sending from the client that we call as a data that will be sent to google server okay as a request and server will give a response to the client by loading this google home page to the client okay so immediately if you are giving www.google.com we are getting the home page so that actually that home page will be available in the google server so once you send the request the google server will load the home page into the client system based upon the ip address right so some sort of data will be communicated from the client to a server so that data will be transmitted with the help of this packet in the form of packets right so hope you understood this uh, packets information so uh, uh, what is a packet and uh, how these packets will be transmitted from a to b that means uh, uh, two different devices right so this will also be useful in our ethical hacking right so there is a tool called white shark so which will which is which will be acting as a packet sniffer packet analyzer how the packets or what are the packets transmitted from source to destination so i'll explain that uh, tool in our uh, further sessions so there you can see all these things so what is a packet what is the sequence number of the packet what is the time time stamp what is the length of the packet what is the source address what is the destination address everything you can find in that particular tool white shark okay and uh, this is a one popular tool that will that will be used by the ethical hackers right so let's stop here and i hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding these packets so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much